Hello everyone! So, today's video I am finally showing you guys my everyday makeup routine for summer. Okay, scratch that. Not everyday, just the days that I like get ready, which are like really, really small. You guys saw in my morning routine that I only wear mascara to work out, but on days that I get ready to go do something or conquer the world, this is my makeup. So. I probably filmed a really long video of me doing my makeup. Also, real quick, in the video I'm answering all your questions, which you asked on my Instagram and on my last video. So if you're not already following me on Instagram, make sure you do so you can ask a question for the next time I do one of these. And now we are gonna go ahead and get in the video. Okay, so getting into the makeup, I always do my eyes first before my face just cause like fall out and whatnot. And then you gotta cover it up. So I just figured doing eyes first was the way to go. And now I've done that for like, over a year but I'm gonna get into the questions while I'm doing my um, makeup but always to start off with the primer I use the MAC soft ochre um, paint pot so while I'm priming my eyes I'm going to look up the questions okay so first question I'm starting off on um, Instagram with those questions so the first question is from Kayla and she asked how are you planning to keep up what you've been doing this summer at school and are you nervous you might fall off track so to stay on track with like everything I've been doing I um, am really thankful because all of my friends at school really like to work out and eat healthy um, and me Haven and Lauren I know Charlie doesn't like eat as healthy as Haven Lauren and I try to but um, just living with them is really going to help and also um, it's just all a mindset like I know I never want to go back to the way that I looked and felt so I'm just going to keep that really strong mindset up and also going to the gym every day and lifting with my friends is like something that's motivating because I think it's really fun. Um, but no, I'm really not that nervous of falling off track because now um, that I live in my own house I'm in control of what I eat and I'm in control of the food I buy. And if I don't buy the junk food, then I won't eat it. And I'm not really a junk food person. At like, And I'm not going to eat out that much, obviously, because I'm spending my money on groceries. And the only time I really do eat bad is when I eat out, which my friends and I are really going to do now because we are living in our house. So, no, I'm really not that nervous because I am in control of my body. And I'm just going to keep that really strong mindset that I have now. Not to say I'm never going to cheat because I know that I am. And that's okay, like... I'll probably have a cheat day once or twice a week, but then the rest of the week I'll just be really good and be really mindful of like what I'm eating and everything. So for eyeshadow, I'm using the Tartelette palette. It just looks like this and I'm taking this color force of nature up here and putting it on the outer um, corner of my lid. My next question is from Allison and she asked, how do you handle food cravings? Like for unhealthy food, what healthy food options do you choose instead? So, um, if I am craving, like, something unhealthy, chances are I'm just going to eat it and get it over with just because I know I'm going to keep craving it. So, if I am craving unhealthy, then I'll just have myself a nice soul cheat day because, like, why would I hold that back? Like, if I want it, then I want it and then I want to eat it. But I do have to say, the more you eat healthy, the, um, more your body becomes used to it and then the less you're going to crave the unhealthy food. So if you really want to stop craving unhealthy food, then you just have to like really get in the lifestyle where you keep um, eating healthy more than you eat unhealthy and then your body will kind of like change over. So that's like really how I do that is I just eat what I'm craving. If I like really want a burger, then one day I'll make like turkey burgers or something. So I'm like, I'm kind of just um, making the healthy version of whatever I'm craving. So that's pretty much what I do, but honestly, if you're craving something, then just have a cheat day and then be better the rest of the week. Once I get that on the outside of my lid, then I take Super Mom, which is in the bottom corner right here, and I just put that on the rest of my lid. Okay, next question is from Tatiana, and I like your name, girl. And she said, how do you decide to do a cleanse and how do you make sure you're still being safe and healthy while doing one? Is there a specific brand you trust? So, um, I know a lot of you guys know I do Isogenics. I swear by Isogenics. I would never tell you guys or um, share something with you guys that I didn't know worked and wasn't good for you. Which, um, if you really like research, and there are some, like if you research it, there are some negative things about it, but then you just have to go back and look at the source. Like, half of the time it's other companies trying to put this company down because they know it really works. Or it's just, like, people who, um, who really couldn't stop drinking the beer or whatever at night and saying it doesn't work. Because, I mean, I, like, I know it works. Like, 
uh, from like me and how my transformation has changed last summer and this summer like I know it works so I would never like tell you guys like something's good um if I didn't actually think it was and also for the cleanse the cleanse is a part of the system like you do five shake days and one cleanse day or six shake days one cleanse day a week sometimes you do two so I do five cleanse days and two shake or five shake days and two cleanse days except this week I'm only doing one because I'm going to Boston tomorrow yeah so I decided to do that just because it was a part of the system and I was really scared to do it at first because you only eat like small snacks because you're the main goal is to shut down your metabolism to um, flush out the toxins in your body so um, that's how I decided to do it but now I like will never stop because like that's just the science behind it and all the research it like seriously works question is from Madeline and she asked how do you stay motivated and on track with the fitness and health plan when you go back to college um, and like dealing with that with your other commitments and um, staying healthy but still having fun so basically my biggest advice is you make time for the things you love and I personally love eating healthy and working out so I make time for that. So I have a set block in my day where I know I'm going to be working out instead of watching Netflix or like hanging out with my friends because I still have time to do that on the weekends. But during the weekday, everyone's so busy anyway that um, I like to make time to do that. And plus me hanging out with my friends is kind of at the gym. So I'm, I look out that way. Back in with the same force of nature, I'm just dragging the color back over now. It's just something where you have to decide how bad you want it. And if it's something you want bad enough, then you'll make time for it and you'll make a um, yourself commit to it and so I'm like I was nervous at the beginning of the summer and then I realized that I totally have this under control and that I'm gonna be fine and I can still have fun and hang with my friends and have cheat days with them and live it up in the college life but then during the week like get my life together and eat healthy and also you feel so much better when you eat healthy and you have so much more energy so I want to be energized and like ready to take on the week but then the last thing I do for my eyes is I take this small buxom um eyeshadow it's in gold status but literally any gold eyeshadow would work and I just literally pop that right in the center of my eye um of my eyelid and I don't know why, but I just feel like this makes your whole eyeshadow kind of pop a little bit. And all you do is just work it into the middle. Okay, I'm going to do my eyeliner off camera just because if I do it on camera, it's going to take so much longer than it needs to be. And I'm really bad at doing eyeliner on camera. But I used the There Real Push Up Liner for the top and just a black eyeliner for my waterline. So the next question is, how do you make sure you are gaining muscle while losing weight? And also, how do you justify your cheat meals? I know I'm like losing weight while gaining muscle because of the food I'm eating and losing weight is 80% diet 20% weights so um the healthier you eat the more flat your stomach's gonna be the more fat you're gonna lose so that's how I know I'm doing that and then while gaining muscle is because I am lifting and working out so that is that but also to talk about justifying your cheat meals um like I think it's okay to justify because sometimes I'll be like it's a holiday so I can have a cheat meal or I'm going on vacation so I can have a cheat meal and that to me is justifying it but also in like my head this isn't a diet that I'm doing this is like my new lifestyle so in order to live my life I have to like make myself happy and that is sometimes eating a very unhealthy meal because sometimes you just crave it so if I were you um I would never justify well, like justify as in like, yeah, it's vacation so I can eat it. But also like if you're just hanging out one day and really crave something, then I wouldn't justify it if I were you. I would think, okay, this is a lifestyle. I'm still living my life and it is okay if I have a cheat meal because one, nobody's perfect. You guys see me have cheat meals all the time. In Boston, you're about to see me have a serious cheat meal because we're eating at this really cool restaurant. I'm not going to tell you yet because you have to see it in the vlog. But like it's okay to cheat it's okay to live your life like how fun would that be or how not fun would it be if the only thing you ate all the time was meat and veggies and like a complex carb like not fun at all live your life it is okay and also the more you eat healthy and then the more you like get on that healthy lifestyle track when you do have a cheat day then you're gonna feel like kind of bad after it and then you're gonna want to get back on track and like eating healthy and then it's just like a good reminder of why you're on this journey and like how good you feel versus how good you 
could not feel. Also, the foundation that I'm using is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. I'm in the shade Y325, and I'm just using a Real Techniques Beauty Blender to blend that all in. Next question from Ariana. Oh, Alex asked the question I just asked, answered, but how has your weight been fluctuating from the start of your fitness journey since you lift weights, or have you just completely been losing weight at a steady pace? Um, so... I've been losing weight at a steady pace, again, because I've been eating so healthy. Um, it does fluctuate, and I think I've been losing it a lot more slow than I did last summer um, because of the whole weightlifting thing because I did not lift at all last summer slash did not work out. So um, it's been a lot more slow because muscle does weigh more than fat, but I definitely do have fat, so as I continue to lose the fat, that's when the number slowly goes down. And so yeah, um, it definitely does fluctuate depending on what I eat and how hard I lift or if I'm very sore the next morning because then my like whole body just kind of feels heavy. But yeah. We asked, are you still planning on doing isogenics when you go back to school? Yes, I am. It is really easy to do at school. Um, I'm using the Smashbox Skin Studio Skin 24 Hour um, Concealer, but it's really easy to do at school, especially because a bar replaces a whole shake if you eat the whole bar. So if I'm on my way to class, I can just eat a bar. But um, yeah, I'm still doing it to maintain my lifestyle. And also it's something that I'm gonna do for the rest of my life. One, because it's super easy and convenient. Two, because it turns your body alkaline and um, cancer runs in my family and cancer, not like genetic cancer that like you get from like you're just bound to get, but like breast cancer and stuff that like melanoma, stuff that you can prevent. Um, it does not thrive in an alkaline body and cancer thrives in an acidic body and um, isogenics turns your body alkaline within the first two weeks and keeps it there the longer you do it. So I never want to get cancer. So I'm going to keep doing it because I know I'm fueling my body with good things. I'm also using the Hoola Bronzer Contour Stick. It's from Francesca. She asked, how many calories do you stick to per day to lose weight and how many calories does it take to get back to normal after a cheat weekend? Usually I eat 1,500 calories a day. You guys, like this is a lifestyle. This is not a diet and you have to eat to lose weight. Like you can't starve yourself. That's not going to work. Your muscles are going to start to deteriorate and it's not healthy. So, you eat to lose weight, I eat between 1,500 calories a day, sometimes I'm on spot, sometimes I'm over it, sometimes I might be a little tad bit under it, not usually though, because I do love food and I eat a lot, but um, I eat six meals a day and each meal I try to make between two to 300 calories per meal. Okay, when you're doing a really hard workout like Orange Theory, how do you stay motivated to continue and finish the workout when you're dying? So, um, just being in a class setting, really motivates you to continue and finish the workout just because um, you have the instructor motivating you and just like I'm a competitive person sometimes so being in the class just motivates me to keep going because I see other people like either keeping going or dying and I like want to be the best I can be so that's how I keep going but when I'm not in a class um, what motivates me to keep going is honestly my music because I'm like I like my playlist, so I like want to keep working out to the songs because I like hearing them. Which, by the way, my workout Spotify playlist is linked down below um, if you are interested. But that definitely really motivates me to keep going. And also, just like the feeling after a good workout motivates me to keep going too and knowing like what I want in the future. And I want to be toned and I want defined arms and the only way to get that is to have really good killer workouts and to keep going. I'm just going to blend in this contour while I answer another question. How do you eat healthy even when unhealthy things are surrounding you? Um, okay, so I'm going to kind of bring this back to like my sorority and living in my sorority house. But it all is a mindset. Like you have to have the mindset of that you want to eat healthy, but honestly living in a sorority house and eating healthy is so hard because you have those friends who eat whatever and are really skinny and then you see them doing it which makes you want to eat it and then you actually hate them because like you're like why can't I eat whatever and be skinny? So it's like honestly really hard to eat healthy um, when living in a sorority house or having a bunch of unhealthy things surrounding you. Um, again, just going back to my best advice is to just get in the mindset of how bad you want to achieve your goals and what your goals are. And if your goals are eating healthy, then you're going to do it because you know, um, 
that you want to achieve those. So, I don't know. I'm a really strong mindset person too. And when I set my, like, mind to do something, then I do it. So, that, like, works out for me. Also, try and get your people who are, like, the people who surround you in a healthy, like, mindset too. Like, if they see you doing it, chances are, and, like, you being healthy and you being happy and working out and stuff, chances are they might want to try that too. So, um, okay, what is my major? Okay, my major is communications focus in PR. And then what do you like most about being a pirate? Um, I, I don't know, I just really like ECU in general. Like I love the school, I love my friends there, I love the classes and my professors and my major, I love going to football games, I love that there's always something to do there. So, I don't know, I just really like the school. I like it all, honestly, I wouldn't want to go anywhere else. Now I'm just setting my face with the Tarte um, powder. I know this gives flashback, that's why I don't bake. So, I need to get a new powder, but I'm broke, so clearly you guys saw that last haul. Um, what headphones do you use when you're working out? Are they wireless? Yes, yeah, so I use the wireless Beats headphones. I love them. I haven't found, well, they're the only wireless headphones I've ever used, but um, I think they work really well. I've never had a problem. They never really fall out of my ear. And I think they're pretty great. So yeah, highly recommend guys. And I have the white pair if anyone was wondering. So if you get them, send me a pic and we're matching. Okay, do you think that you could have lost all the weight that you did not doing the weightlifting portion of your exercise? Um, yes, 100%. Last summer I did Isogenics too and I lost 17 pounds without working out and I lost it faster than I've lost any weight this summer. And I know it's because I wasn't working out um just because my body wasn't gaining muscle and so i would just i was really strict with myself too last summer so yeah i know i can lose weight without working out but honestly if you want to it's mainly diet so yeah last summer i did isogenics didn't work out and i'm using the little bronzer and i lost 17 pounds and i felt great and then in january is when i decided that i really wanted to start working out and stuff so yeah. Okay, recommendations for going to the gym alone. Honestly, you just have to walk in there and own it and like have fun and um, just worry about yourself and just go and get your workout done and then leave. Because honestly, like there might be a lot of people there, but they're not paying attention to you. They're paying attention to them, you know? Okay, next I'm using the Becca highlighter. Becca highlighter in opal was it hard to motivate yourself to work out every day and honestly no because before i work out um i would go on instagram and figure out what i wanted to do and kind of plan out my workout and then i would be so excited to go to the gym to like do whatever i just found so that's a tip is to go on instagram and figure out what workout you're gonna do and then kind of get yourself pumped up like watching other people do it to where like you know you're about to do it and it just like it works for me so it might work for other people okay so now on to the questions people asked on my last video okay so everyone's been wondering wondering what my workout split is so they can do the same workouts i do on the same day that i do them also i'm using this tarte blush in parte it literally is spelled like parte it's like p-a-a-a-a-a-r-t-y um okay so my workout split on Mondays, I do back and biceps, and on Tuesdays, I do legs. Wednesdays, shoulders. Thursdays, legs. But whenever I do legs, I either like really focus on booty, or I really focus on hamstrings or quads, or I just like switch it up. So yeah. And then Friday, chest and triceps, and then I do not go to the gym on Saturday and Sunday, but I usually go to Orange Theory, but when I go back to school, I'm going to take Sundays off and then on Saturdays I'm going to go and do like a full body like workout or focus on something that I um, didn't feel as confident in that week and kind of add more to that. So that is my workout split. So if you guys want to follow the same thing, totally do it and then tell me if you do your workout that day. Um, next, I'm going to talk about how I manage my time in college because that is a very big question asked and I'm gonna do that while I do my eyebrows. So I just fill in my eyebrows with the multitasker shade in the Tartelette palette. But um, like I said, well, I always have a planner and I schedule out my days and then I um, get into the same routine because you obviously have the same classes Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then Tuesday, Thursday, or just Monday or Tuesday. So you know what time you're gonna have classes. And then depending on what else I need to do that day, then I schedule my time to go to the gym and I always make time because I know that's something that I want to do. 
some days I might be so busy because I am the vice president of my sorority so like I might not have time to go but if I don't then I'll just replace that day with like Sunday or Saturday like you just kind of have to be flexible with what you're doing because sometimes you do get really busy in college but there's always a way to work around it and I just plan to go to the gym the same time every day and then or like whatever works best that day and then pretty soon you're going to become a regular in the gym but also I always try and get all my homework done by like 8 o'clock so that I can have me time and I do go to bed pretty early in college except for like on the weekends but I always try and get all my work done and um, pro tip for college try and be a week ahead of everything that's happening so like be a week ahead of all your classes be a week ahead of all your assignments get them turned in early and you will never be stressed out be a week ahead studying for your test you'll never be stressed out and you'll have more time to do things that you want to do for yourself like working out for when you're stuck in a rut um honestly just kind of like take a day to yourself and remember why you started and what like made you want to go on this journey and pretty much just like re-motivate yourself or go make yourself a really healthy meal where you know like like after you eat that you're gonna feel great and then want to be motivated to work out I'm using my Lancome brow gel just to set my brows in place so um yeah but I understand like being in a rut sucks and sometimes you just really don't want to work out do you work out you feel so good so that's something that motivates me too is like you know the endorphins and everything like just the feeling after is like what really motivates me to go and also I've gotten to the point where if I don't go to the gym I get in a really bad mood or I'm like really pissed because like that's kind of like me time and that's like my favorite thing to do so when I don't go I get really mad so that's what motivates me to go okay also talking about like carbs and eating carbs the shakes that I drink have a ton of carbs in it I don't know the exact number but the amount of carbs that like you should be eating a day the shake covers it so that's why I don't eat an extra amount of carbs just because I don't need them and my body's already getting a ton of carbs so that's why you guys never see me eat them but also like on cheat days I don't even care about that like I just eat sweet potato fries and whatever because I'm currently addicted to those so I am eating the right amount of carbs and sometimes even on top of my meals I'll like make like a quinoa blend or something to go with it but there are a ton of carbs in the shakes that we drink which are meal replacements so that's why um, I never eat any more than like what I do in drinking in the shake okay so talking about like the reps and stuff that I do while I put on my luminous lash paradise from L'Oreal um, so when I say do four sets of everything, I'm talking, so, um, once you get done doing the 10 reps or the eight reps that I told you to do, to do, take a 30 second break and then complete that four times in a row before moving on to the next exercise. So if I'm doing bicep curls, I'm going to do 10, take a 30 second break, do 10 more, 30 second break, 10 more, 30 second break, 10 more. And then that's like the whole exercise that I've done with. I've done the four sets and then now I'm moving on to the next thing. Um, a question that was asked a lot was who are my favorite um, Instagrammers and YouTubers besides Whitney Simmons? So YouTubers, I love um, Sarah's Day, who she lives in Australia, but she makes really good videos. And then um, I also love Alex Garza, Aspen Ovard, um, obviously Brooke, Michio, I love Christy Vetter, I love um, Danielle Carolyn, I'm just naming all the people I watch, uh, Tori Sterling, um, Elliot and Jared, I watch... If you watch any of these people, comment below, because they're the bomb. They're like my religious, like I watch these people religiously. Um, who else do I watch? Oh, Caitlin B, Sarah Bell, 93X. I'm like so curious to know what her last name is, because a bunch of people have already put their last names out there, but she never has. Um, okay, I can't think of any more YouTubers at the moment. Who am I missing? I'm missing someone that I watch all the time, but now I can't think of it. Okay, and Instagrammers, I seriously... <sighs> okay, I don't even know. I need to look. Oh, Keaton. Keaton is the other um, YouTuber I watch. I freaking love Keaton. She's the bomb. Um, okay, honestly, my favorite Instagrammers are my favorite YouTubers because I like like their Instagram, especially Aspen Ovard's Instagram is on point. So is Alex Garza's, and so is Keaton's, and Tori Sterling's, and Danielle's, and Brooks, and everyone's. Like... I just um, pretty much pay attention to all of theirs. And 
Um, a lot of the Gymshark athletes post really good workout videos on their Instagram and you can pretty much find them all through finding one because once you find one then the rest of their Instagrams pretty much pop up. So that's where I get like a lot of workout inspiration too. Okay, next question is what do you suggest for a beginner workout routine? So I would definitely suggest starting out with like weights that you're comfortable with and just kind of doing basic, basic movements like bicep curls, tricep extensions, um, cable machines cool too because um, then you can just like set your weight and um, adjust it really easily and you can just google like their beginner workouts and um, there's like a ton of ton of ideas on there so if I were you I would do that but also just know like it's okay and everyone starts somewhere so you don't have to be a pro weightlifter the day you go in there like I certainly was not I had no idea what I was doing at first and I just did a ton of research and a ton of googling to educate myself really and now I feel very comfortable in the gym so my next question is how did you deal with your parents divorce and I'm gonna be doing a whole video on that when I get back to school because I feel like a bunch of girls have probably had their parents getting divorced and I honestly really didn't handle my parents divorce very well at all and I regret the way I acted so I'm gonna make a whole video about that also she asked also how in touch are you with your Venezuelan roots and what is your mom's name I'm actually Colombian um, a bunch of people think I'm either like Puerto Rican or Venezuelan or um, a bunch of stuff but um, on my dad's side I am 50% Colombian, 50% Italian, and then on my mom's side, I'm like 100% Norwegian. So, like literally 100% Nordic Fest and everything. She's from Decora, Iowa, like really Norwegian. But, um, yeah, so my mom's name is Cindy, by the way. Well, okay, her real name is Cynthia, but she goes by Cindy, and my dad goes by Tony, but he'll, his real name is Horatio, so... There's that, but I'm just Bianca and I go by Bianca. I don't have a cooler long name that I'm not sharing with you guys. Okay, someone asked what are my goals post college? So obviously my goal is to get a job. I have no idea what I wanna do yet. Absolutely no idea. Kind of stressed about it actually. Also, I um, want to live in a city somewhere. So either I'm thinking Nashville or Charlotte, just like downtown Charlotte or like South End Charlotte area. I really wanna live in a city. And I also um, want to keep doing YouTube. I never want to stop that because it makes me really happy. And I think it'd be cool one day to like have a family and vlog it. So I definitely want to do that. Also, my eyelash eyelashes are so short. That's why I'm putting on so many layers of mascara. Oh, I totally just messed up. Cool. Okay, and then the same color that I put on my eyebrows, I just kind of drag it underneath my eye just to create some more dimension with my um, eyeshadow. But I do that after I do my mascara. I should probably start doing it before. That would make more sense. But I always do it after. I don't know why. Okay, and then last for the lips, I have been using this Stila. Um, yeah, you know what? Someone told me how to pronounce this. Ba Bocce? I think it's called Bocce. I don't even remember. But I've just been using this color. Also, last question is what made me choose ECU? And at the time, my parents were getting divorced. All my like really close friends were going to ECU or wanted to go to ECU. So I think that's why I chose it. Um, and I just really liked it out of all the schools in North Carolina because I didn't want to go out of state for school. But now, knowing the person I am now, if I would have chosen what school I was going to like now, I definitely would have gone out of state. But um, just at the time, I wanted to go where my best friend and my boyfriend were going. So... Honestly though, if you're deciding where to go to college, don't do what I did and like choose somewhere where like just because your boyfriend's going there or just because you know a lot of people going there, like be adventurous if you're like that kind of person because I wish I would have done that and um, like things change all the time so like you're not even gonna like guaranteed to be still dating that person. So yeah, that is my little advice but that was my makeup routine and I am gonna spray my face now I use the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray if anyone has any questions that I like somehow skipped or didn't answer then you can comment them below and I will reply to your comment because I tried to like get them majority all answered but I was like making a really long video so 
Okay guys, so that was it for my everyday makeup routine. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any video requests for me to do, because I'm about to go back to school. So any videos you guys want to see, make sure you comment them down below. Also, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button in this corner over here. And if you missed any of my latest videos or just want to work out for the day, I have that on this side. And with that being said, I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye!